this is the from the power from the mortal welcome to the map forts of Bruin 2 in battle for middle earth 1 on the patch 2.22 it's gonna be a 1v1 video commentary between two evil factions and two good players between mordor and isengard Orc pit and furnace opening for Aizen in this player opening with a orc pit in the furnace capturing this one and also sending golem to this location in order to send those two starting orcs straight forward and that's very important by the way because you don't want to defend in this situation you can't catch the uruks and you will waste time and he will still be able to destroy your lumber mill you want to pressure your opponent and the same also goes to Isengard. You don't want to chase the orcs down with your Urukai because you want to also deal economical damage. That's what matters, okay? This Lumber Mill is a Gunner's. Land has been used offensively. It's a 1v2 situation. The good thing here for Aizen is he will be able to bring more and more reinforcements from the Uruk pit. So all he gotta do is keep those orcs away from this Lumber Mill. That's your task. Good eco. And in this matchup as mortal you need multiple orc pits like i would go for like three three orc pits at the main castle and then you can also capture the outpost later on to build even more orc pits you know the age of uruks is over the time of the orc has come a one in two situation he should be able to win this no problemo in the meantime uh, sending those workers away from this location and the uruks will be able to clean those no problem. Where is the golem at? Oh, golem is here. You need three hits now to kill a worker. And that's good, actually. Now golem has to run for his life. Look at him. Look at this. <laughs> golem Smeagol with the blue eyes, you know. All right. More and more orcs being sent straight forward from the middle. And the orcs, one of them defending. One of them, actually both of them defending. That means the eco from Mordor is going to be Gucci. This Urukai was able to clear every single Lumber Mill worker from this location. And that means this structure is not producing any resources. Mordor's eco is not looking too good. He has three Orc Pits, true, but he has only one Furnace. It means he's heavily relying on the resource income from those Lumber Mills outside. Aizen's eco on the other side is looking even worse because his units cost money while Orcs are for free. Every 30 seconds, you will get to recruit one of the orcs. Yes, they are the weakest swordsman in the game, but they cost nothing at the end of the day, you know? Bad positioning here with the uruks and orcs, but and crossbowmen will also be sent forward. It's a very interesting situation over there. <laughs> what are they doing? I don't know. But it helped the uruk pit to hit level 2 faster. So he will recruit more and more berserkers. And this also will help the uruk pit to reach level 3 for 50 percent faster production speed it means a uruk which normally takes you to recruit 22 seconds for only will take 11 seconds he's sending those um berserkers forward i think this one is not going to be able to do the trick but in the meantime this berserk is creeping and also will get the money very important uh, he will get reinforcements to this location. Aizen needs the power points to get to unlock the industry as soon as possible because his eco is looking so weak. He will need the money from the industry as long as soon as he can get it. You know, Mordor's eco is looking phenomenal. If you are curious why he's building those, you know, furnaces because they are tankier, and he was worried at the beginning of the game to get base rushed by the Uruks, and the furnace has 2,000 HP. While the slaughterhouse has only 1500 hp so it will take the uruks more time to take down one furnace compared to a slaughterhouse mordor creeping this with the land but it looks like the isinger player was covering the land it means this is land this is now the land from the isinger player that's why the uruks or the berserkers rather are able to clear this level two orcs no problemo and the settlement will also be captured by isengard he was also creeping this one so it's pretty good situation for aizen he has actually went he went for the tainted land which i believe is kind of like a dangerous situation but he already got almost the power points for industry too so not bad not bad at all troll cage up on the field for mordor berserkers everywhere and maybe like i think at this point of the game you need to realize okay this game will go to the lead game okay because he's spending so much money on the berserkers which he needs though but it will delay his armory a bit. And by the time you get armory and fire arrows, your enemy will have trolls. 
This means the game won't end in the next 5 minutes. For that reason, you need to make preparations for the late game action. And one of the preparations you gotta be making is to recruit Lourdes, the Uruk hero, because you will need his damage leadership later on to deal a much more significant amount of damage to Nazgûl's Witch King and Trolls. Outpost will eventually be captured by Isengard too. He was clearing everything and also capturing the outpost. Very good, very good, very good. Here you can build a tower and table furnace or you can put a crossbowman inside the outpost for some sort of self-defense and I think that's the plan from the Isengard player. This lumber mill level 2, this lumber mill also level 2 and industry, so Isen's eco will look crazy. And he's also creeping the whole map. Mordor did not a good job by creeping. I think he was only able to take what this creep over here and that's all he got so far Eisen was able to creep this 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 and this you know that's like lots of creeps for Eisen that's why he has such a big power point advantage over Mordor we have a troll up on the field with his pink panties and we have also Lourdes just joining the battlefield level one Lourdes but that's gonna be enough to threaten this troll Troll is faster though, you can always disengage from the Lourdes and you can, you can even chase him, run him down but remember he can always use Cripple on you which also deals hella damage to monsters like the Troll The thing with the Troll is though, when you don't die you can always eat a Orc or a Lumber Mill worker Punch him Take this Boom The Rock versus Spider-Man <laughs> Alright more crossbow man, obviously. Armor is building up for Isengard. He will need to have fire arrows, banner, and heavy armor. The creep top right is still remaining. All the other creeps are gone from the map Forts of Brunin 2. And ideally, you want to give this creep to Lourdes. So he gets to level 3 and gets one big step closer to level 5. You want to give the last hit to Lourdes, but I think he's just rushing it down. Uh, the lair is very important, just give it to Lourdes. But you gotta be doing it fast. Oh, no, he didn't pay attention to that. That's free experience, by the way. It's not it's not contested. Here, you just gotta be pressing S so your berserkers won't keep at attacking it. And then you will be easily able to get the last hit with your lords. Getting him to level 3 will already unlock the carnage, which is a massive power spike. But most importantly, will bring you a big step closer to unlock this ability, the white hand. Leadership bonus to nearby troops plus 60 percent damage orcs being sent forward not many towers but they has berserkers to defend this no problemo armory up he already has the money to buy this this and this double outpost with three furnaces each this guy is taking a bath in money boys okay he's super rich trolls gotta be careful but the crossbowmen have no upgrades yet so they don't deal too much damage the damage is still good but you need fire arrows in order to pierce through the thick armor, thick skin of those mountain trolls. Lord still level 1, not very threatening hero, but he can still use the cripple. Berserker is still being spammed all over the map for the map control, but here at this point he will get out spammed by those orcs because he has triple orc pit, and now these orc pits are at least level 2, and they have also now faster production speed. So instead of 30 seconds, each of them will only take 22 seconds to cook from the pit. Trollkish level 2. And it looks like he want to make combos too. Because he already purchased. No, he didn't purchase it yet. But he's making archers. So, you know, pretty much that guarantees that he is trying to go for the combos. Armory will be demolished by the Isengard player. No money for Saruman yet. But he will make army first. Level 3 Lamry Mill has some sort of self-defense. 3000 HP. So one or two orcs will not be able to take it down. Power point wise, say 4 power points for Aizen after the freezing... No, not freezing rain. That's not gonna happen now, any, anytime soon. He has Industry, Tainted Land, and Warchant. So he needs still 3 power points for his freezing rain. And Mordor has 5.5 power points. He only needs 1.5 power point for Darkness because he went straight up to Land, Eye of Sauron, and Industry. So Land, pick from Aizen, is delaying it. And he also went for the Vision of Palantir. The reason is, it will also grant you resistances to fear. And Palantir was a very useless ability in the original version of the game by EA, which was abandoned by the time, by the way, like 2010. It's been over 13 years ago now. And 2.2 is a community patch. 
made by the people who are playing the game for the people who want to enjoy the game. And our goal was always to make the unused power points and units more useful. And that's the change for the vision of Palantir. So you will see it in every single game now against heroes like Boromir or against Mordor, Aizen will have to pick it. I mean, this outpost is, you know, so good for, so good for Aizen. Three combos over there, two, uh, not combos, crossbowmen, which is smart because it's more firepower and you can use the wedge formation to deal more damage. But against combos, you also need combos. This only works if your opponent has only trolls and Nazgûs. But in this situation, Mordor has combos, so you need to also form combos. That means you have Uruks in the front, they can absorb the damage. When you don't have that, crossbowmen are quite squishy units and these orc archers behind the orcs will melt you while you are busy killing the orcs in the front because you can't target with your army the archers you, you can only target the entire combo and when they stay like this you will have to fight front to back you need to kill the orcs first before you can touch the crossbowmen or not crossbowmen the orc archers so here's no witch king the mortal player but here's a drama troll so drama troll plus eye of sauron is 100 percent damage leadership and you know eisen has only 50% damage leadership from the war chant and 50% armor. It means on the people, the orc combos have more leadership, true, but remember they have no chance to get heavy armor, which is more important than 50% damage. Armor is better than damage in a combo against combo situation. But because he has no loot level 5 yet, uh, the trolls will not be easy to be taken down. Unless you have Saruman, and he has the money for it. He has 6.5k, he's cash floating like crazy. Saruman could be definitely game changing around this location. Expose Crossbowman, they will be run down. Beautiful hit by the troll. Will he be able to kill any troll though? The answer to this question is no, he will not kill a single one of them. The only good thing for Aizen is that, you know, Morda was using the Eye of Sauron. That's the only good, and only good thing. And now he will also go for Saruman. Yeah, Saruman is being recruited. Um, and also the Berserk is still, you know, doing a good job. You know, kind of focusing down the map control. Making sure that Mordor can't get unlimited amount of money. And, you know, spam catapults and Witch King at the same time. Four combos. Two crossbowmen. And also, finally, the Wizard appears. So Saruman can be definitely, you know, game-changing. At, le at least battle changing his warm tongue is super threatening against those trolls all you gotta do is time it when they charge you can steal them all there comes darkness but rain is not available yet saruman is being exposed but archer are not hitting him now the just use warm tongue but he's not using it the troll beautiful it he's using fireball but he's gonna send be sent flying to the next map and shot down rogash the king of trolls Level 6, look at this bad boy! What a disaster, boys. What a disaster. Also, Lourdes, just destroy the Uruk pit at this point. Very important structure. Destroy it, and he will lose 50 person production speed. But because of the rain, he's gonna choose to disengage. During all this time, um, remember Lourdes and Saruman got killed. The only th thing what keeps him alive and the reason why he has still money left is because of these two untouched outposts with level 2 furnaces. He has 6 furnaces which are bringing him constantly money but Mordor forgot totally to take care of this. The combo also has been slain, level 6 and level 4 mountain trolls, very threatening, super dangerous and extremely beefy. Now he's finally making his move to the outpost at the bottom left, this is something what he should be doing like five minutes ago always fight front to back bunch of orcs being idle chilling not interested in fighting and he has no witch king yet no he has the witch king even okay witch king has been also recruited no man can kill him this also includes the urukai and he's gonna eat the berserker do not come between the nazgul and his prey Outpost will be taken down, no problemo. Rain is gonna be off very soon. That means leadership will get back into the business. And you wanna use this time. That's your primary goal as Mordor. You wanna force your opponent to use the rain defensively. And once the duration of the rain, which is by the way lasting for two minutes and 30 seconds, that means you have three and a half minutes 
after the rain duration is gone to make a move in which your opponent can't negate your leadership bonuses and you will out damage him with your witch king i and drummer troll leadership it's in total 150 percent damage that means even those weak non-armored or combos can still hit like a truck and saruman can't approach them witch king pink <laughs> i like the house colors of the game you know very important and that's because in you know maybe in single player you don't like it that you know you, you, you can have a gandalf with like pink clothes but in multiplayer in team games especially it's very important this is a very strong army four combos or three combos in one crossbow man which also will be formed into a combo battalion now you want to use the speechcraft on cooldown every two minutes you want to be spamming this to get free experience free experience means free levels free levels means more damage more tankiness and more threatening combos he's gonna be using it now they're gonna get from level two to level three that already unlocks the automatically the resistance to fear it means the screech is not gonna be useful but even if it was saruman's leadership this one is also giving you resistances to fear so he has a bunch of combos actually almost full population with combo battalions he has like six combo battalions here with saruman leadership in war chant and palantir for more speed bonus but lords is still only level three so he still needs two full levels and killing orcs will not do the trick you want to be killing stuff that is worth more than orcs outpost taken by mordor he's going to build up a siege works now which is very important but i think he's wasting too much of his command points for the orcs and most of them are being idle not even fighting here you have a couple of options either you want to you send them forward that means they can maybe deal any form of damage but you know realistically speaking you want to sell them into your slaughterhouses or into the citadel of your castle into the baradur level three furnaces giving you 92 because of the industry outpost exposed no defense it will be taken down isengard rotating but because mordor needed too much time to make his move rain is almost back up so he has in total seven combos boys seven combos but my lord there is no such force <laughs> thousands tens of thousands level five saruman look at him he's looking at the map control he's like are you serious bro what am i looking at why is the entire map pink pink is not my color i'm white you know he's not happy about the map control because eisen has only one lumber mill level three remaining all that map is under control by the motor player he was also capturing this outpost at the top right side double furnace because of the steel bonus making your siege works weapons like catapults and so on cheaper it means you will only invest 720 now and once these build up i will show you guys 540 this is how you can save money trading okay lords almost level four that's very good combos are dying rain is available war chain is available and tainted land is available tainted land you don't want to be using it you want to use it when your opponent uses it to cover this this land belongs to mordor you can see the pink animation that kind of you know kind of gives you the information about who is the owner of this land you are fighting on on the land eisen will have no leadership war chain has been used that means mordor can disengage from this location and to wait war chan is active for 45 seconds that means if you can stall it for 45 seconds you can turn it it's a major cooldown being gunners saruman can use fireball on this clamped combo he's gonna use fireball oh it was close actually he was not paying attention to the witch king the trolls are looking for an opening but remember the second they will charge aizen will eventually press the freezing rain button and you're strong threatening trolls will become useless saruman will cancel it he will get knocked down but will be able to steal a combo the witch king is getting shot in the face only one catapult one catapult will hella hurt he has 10 power points the isinger play mordor has 18 power points in total catapult is farming power points machine but now he's exposed land has been used by mordor but Isengard will simply cover this, but he chooses not to. Why will he cover this? There is no need to do this. He should have not covered this, by the way. He was trying to cover both, but he missed it. You want to always cover this or you want to hold it. There is no need to cover this if the fight already ended, you know. You can always save it for the next fight or you can use it right in front of the base of Mordor. You can go there and... Because defending all alone won't win you the game. And the threatening part here is 
and Mordor has almost Balrog. And if you clamp all your army into one location, the Balrog can end you. Fireball will kill the catapult in one shot, no problemo. Siege works to bring more catapults from this location and also from this location. But Mordor is struggling, command point wise. He has a bunch of orcs. And let's be honest here, yeah, orcs not gonna do too much at this point of the game. And each orc will cost you 20 command points, boys, okay? So let's count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 battalions of orcs times 20. It's 300 command points you are wasting. Balrog will be summoned to kill two combos. I don't think it's worth it. He's flying, but not landing where he wanted to land. Um, ignites while flying he's gonna be using breath fire you want to use it as soon as possible because we have this has 25 seconds cooldown and we have only one minute time with balrog if you wait too much you can only use it once that's why you want to use it almost instantly this way you can get to use it for the second time it's recharging already the nazgul catapult shooting destroying this level three lumber mill combos are behind mordor has a saruman I mean, Isengard hit a Saruman, sorry. Will he be able to use one more breath fire? That's gonna hit four structures, by the way, like this. Beautiful hit. Only one level three furnace remaining and a couple of towers. That's all Isengard has left. Joking, he has still the will to win the game. And also he has a Lutz, who finally got level five, okay? And remember what, you know, there is always hope. Yes, how many power points does he have? He has 18 power points almost. That means he almost has Balrog. He needs two and a half power points more to unlock his own demon from the ancient world. The best hero in the game, by the way. The best hero in the game. Now, here's the pillage too. For each kill, you will make bank. That's really good, actually, for Aizen. Even though he has 15,000... Trust me, he has only one level 3 furnace. Look, the money goes not up anymore. He needs to invest now money into reviving Saruman for 2200. Then he needs to make a new army. He, all his furnaces will be only level 1. So the money raise, he can't win against Mordor. Mordor has multiple level 3 structures in the castle. He is very, very strong at this point of the game. Nazgul, reviving the other Nazgul for free. Mordor in the lead game has no money problems, boys. Let me tell you that much. But you need to have macro like there is mordor is a very unique faction compared to all the other factions and there are only four so aizen and rohan and gondor are also of course different from each other but they have similarities in terms of playstyle. mordor on its own is extremely unique you know i hate to play mordor but i even hate it more to play against mordor a good mordor player with good macro can crush every single one player trust me that one okay all you need is catapults and trolls to back up the catapults so that means units like berserkers can't just go there or lords can't just randomly throw the sword and go to your catapult and one shot them if you can keep your catapults alive there is no chance oh hold on a second in the meantime nazgul the air reinforcements are coming you want to keep those look the look this what happened over there lumber mill workers this guy's not paying attention at all. He's killing his own catapult over there. Combos are rotating. Rain is available almost in a second. Lord's killing one more catapult off screen. 150 resources for killing this dude. Um, Rain, he doesn't even use it. But he has now the Balrog. Beautiful shot. You can't one shot, but you can two shot. Two shot is all it takes to kill all these combos. Immobile combos, they can't dodge the incoming flaming shots. But again, catapults exposed, no backup, no defense, and you can't just keep doing this, man. You can't just keep doing this. Did he lose the Witch King? Actually, no, he didn't, I believe. Let me take a look into this. He actually didn't. The only hero he lost is Gollum. Smeagol is his name. Uh, Saruman is back almost in a second. Level 6 will take you 2 minutes and 50 seconds. So losing heroes, of course, in terms of money, but especially because of the time, is quite punishing. That means keeping your units and heroes alive is one of the most important things in Battle for Middle Earth 1, okay? Catapult shots, boom, 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 boom. Um, by the time, by the way, Aizen is not using his Balrog, right? He's not using his Balrog, but the Witch King has been killed by... Lourdes. Lourdes is the MVP of this game already. Look, he's going again to the catapult. Two shots. 
bruising his head that's how powerful this guy is he has a head made of steel okay man of the true man of steel or uruk of steel this is the lords that's why isn't it's also only two heroes because these two heroes are like 20 heroes that's how powerful they are okay look at this lens coexisting from Aizen from Mordor it all looks like one land but it's actually two lands <laughs> he's going for the vault pit smart smart this you need to find a way to kill the catapults in a fast way your combos can destroy them but you can see the damage is quite little so you need like lots of time or lots of combos to kill them in a fast way or you can use the heroes like he does going Lourdes again Lourdes is on killing spree boys Lourdes is on killing spree looks at man damage People are sleeping on Saruman's melee damage. He, this guy is dealing 140 melee damage. Just to understand this um, about how much this is. Lourdes is dealing 130 via level 9. This guy is living, dealing with level 7. More damage than level 9 Lourdes. I mean, of, of course, Lourdes can buff his damage with the carnage. But this guy's damage shouldn't be slept on. Again, catapults devastating the army of Isengard. All they gotta do is back them up a little bit. Rain is active, but it's going to be on cooldown very, very soon. I mean, the duration is going to be very, very, very soon gone. Beautiful fireball. Again, this shouldn't be legal. Like, this shouldn't be legal. That this Lord just can calmly vault to your catapults and destroy it. That, that shouldn't be legal. And Isengard refusing to use his Balrog. By the time he will use it, maybe before that, Mordor will get to summon his Balrog for a second time. I mean, maybe he doesn't find he didn't find a good opportunity to use it just yet. You know, there's also a possibility maybe. But here it would be amazing. However, the Balrog is not available just yet. Triple Siege works now. Mordor is tryharding. I would like to see, but he just set waypoints to this location. The Skatas are just walking there with no backup. The Walk Rider catching the catapults again. No backup. Saruman is coming in clutch. Beautiful blast. <laughs> Holy moly. Willow Saruman is available. Some healing in the bank. Love to see it. Lots of command points. He never stopped making orcs. Look, I'm I'm a big fan of not not make not stopping to make orcs. I'm a big fan of that. But I think you need to realize at some point of the game you have the map. Go oh, boom! This is the from the power from the Mordor. From the kill, kill lords actually. This guy's oh he's he's he wanna kill the wizard. He's not paying attention. Keep running. Get over here. <laughs> he used to be of Saruman, but this is your will is not strong enough. <laughs> My will. Your will, my hands. This guy is like Diablo, you know what I'm saying? This guy is like, look at him, boys. This game was made in 2004. By the way, Battle for Middle Earth 1 had the 19 year anniversary. 2004. It means next year, around this time, 6 December, actually. That's the magical number we need to be looking at. The BFME 1 will be 20 years old. And every time BFME gets older, so am I. I'm 33 now, boys. I just my biggest hope is to you know convince my son when he grows up so he can keep the legacy going, you know what I'm saying? BFME will outlive every single game. Witch King stopping those walk riders. Aizen still sleeping on his Balrog refusing to use it let me know in the comment section down below do you think Aizen will ever summon the Balrog if yes will it be before Mordor summons the Balrog for a third time let me know before you we will see the result let me know now in the comments of the video okay because I can't tell it I don't know if he will use ever maybe he's like challenging himself like trying to win without the Balrog challenge He's rotating from the top side. His Lourdes level almost 10. Saruman is getting revived. Remember, he got whipped before by the Balrog. Now, he's level 8. That means the revive time is going to be increased to 3 minutes and 20 seconds. Huge army. You need catapults. He has uh, Orc Arches. Not a bad choice. But I think all you need, really, I don't want to be blaming anybody. All you need are Trolls and Katas. It's going to hurt. 
Kaboom. But Lourdes, again, that should not be illegal, man. This guy is just coming here. Using his head. Taking down the catapult. What can men do against such reckless hate? This guy is going ham. Which can use in the land. Um, but he's getting whipped, whipped, whipped. Eisen will be instantly covering the land, obviously. And now the trolls have no leadership. Everything they will get one-shotted. Level 6 combo and level 4 combo with the war chant. Plus the Lord's leadership. That's 110% more damage. And this is just too scary, dude. And still not using his Balrog, actually. I don't know what to say, man. He's making a new army at the castle. That's pretty good. Oh, he's summoning it. Oh, <laughs> finally. Finally, he remembers. Okay, I can summon this. This is not a passive ability. That's active ability. I can choose to summon it. All I gotta do is left click and right click. Balrog. Baradur, the Eye of Sauron, will be shattered into pieces. Darkness will be used, but Rain, the perfect counter. The perfect counter. Now I don't want to hear anything about unwinnable matchup. That's definitely and most likely a winnable matchup. If you have the full map control like this model player had, all you need to do is make katas. That's your primary strength. Your combos can't fight against other combos when the rain is active. That's not possible. Now, what you can do, you hear me out, I will tell you what you can do. You make 10 trolls. You give four of them rocks in their hands. So when Saruman steps up, you can rock him. And the other trolls will have trees in their hands. That means when Berserk is trying to come, when Walker is trying to come to kill your catapults, you can kill the Vorks or the Berserk with your trolls. And while the combos are trying to damage you, your cutters will shred them. This is gonna be not even funny, boys. You will shred them into pieces. The only threatening hero is Saruman. That's why you will have to get, you will have to get like four trolls with rocks. Whenever he's trying to use the fireball or whenever he's trying to use the warm tongue, you will rock his hand. He will get one shot. In either way, GG. Well played. I hope you guys enjoyed this game. If you did, you know what to do. Smash that like button. Subscribe for more videos like this in the future. I will see you next time. Until then, take care of yourself. Keep hitting like a truck. And as always, stay beyond standards. Peace out, boys.